Hi welcome, today I am going to explain about the film Godzilla vs Kong. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. Jio, the final Iwi native and adopted daughter of Dr. Eileen Andrews, pays him a visit. Jio is deaf and can converse with Kong in sign language. The host of a Titan Conspiracy Theory podcast and a former Apex Cybernetics employee, Bernie Hayes, leaks material indicating suspicious activity at an Apex site near Pesacola. A gadget that mimics the ORCA, previously used to communicate with or control Titans, is found by Bernie while Godzilla is rampaging through the facility. Josh a friend of Madison Russell's, is asked to look into the reason for Godzilla's attack. Together, they track down Bernie and break into the destroyed Apex base, where they unearth a hidden facility buried deep beneath. The three are unintentionally confined and transported to Hong Kong through an underground tube in a container holding skullcrawler eggs a two-legged reptile megafauna that Monarch had previously found. There, they unwittingly interfere with a test of Mechagodzilla, a mechanical replica of Godzilla that was being telepathically commanded by Ren Serizawa, the late Ishiro Serizawa's son, using neural networks from Gaidra that Apex had managed to recover from a severed head. Due to the power supply's restrictions, the test is halted. To get around Mechagodzilla's limits, Apex CEO Walter Simmons plans to use an energy source in the Hollow Earth, an underground realm underneath the planet that serves as the Titan's hidden lair. In order to find a new power source within the Hollow Earth, Walter enlists Nathan Lind, a former monarch scientist who is now a theorist on the Hollow Earth, as his guide. When Walter explains that Apex has created HEAVs, specialized craft to withstand the pressure exerted by the gravity field that killed Nathan's brother, Nathan agrees despite his initial reluctance because his brother tried to explore Hollow Earth, but was killed by a powerful anti-gravity field inside the tunnel. Nathan meets with Eileen on Skull Island and persuades her to let Kong lead them into the Hollow Earth. Kong is shackled and barely drugged as Nathan, Eileen, and an Apex team lead by Walter's daughter Maya board a customized barge. However, Godzilla assaults the convoy in the middle of the journey and vanquishes Kong. He only withdraws after the ships cut off their power and duped him into believing they had been obliterated. They alter their plans, and fly Kong to an access point for the Hollow Earth in Antarctica after realizing that Godzilla will keep after Kong if he is considered a danger. The squad follows Kong in the HEAVs after Jio persuades him to enter the tunnel. They discover a Skull Island-like habitat inside Hollow Earth. The team and Kong locate a luminous axe created from another Godzilla's dorsal plates as they explore the area. They also find the ancestral royal room of Kong's species, which portrays an earlier conflict with Godzilla's kind. Kong realizes the axe can be recharged via the power source. When Godzilla detects the energy, he makes landfall in Hong Kong and attacks the throne room immediately. The Apex team sends the power source's signature back to their headquarters there. Kong kills Maya and the rest of the Apex crew as they flee from Godzilla's attack. Kong, Eileen, Jio, and Nathan manage to escape through the hole to Hong Kong, where Godzilla and Kong resume their battle. Kong loses the fight against Godzilla, who also seriously injures him. Ren cautions Walter in the Apex base that they have not tested the new Hollow Earth energy source out of concern for the repercussions. He begs Walter not to activate Mechagodzilla, but Walter ignores him. Security apprehends Bernie, 
Madison, and Josh and brings them to Walter. Under the influence of the energy source and Ghidorah's neural networks, Mechagodzilla goes crazy and electrocutes Ren to death. When Walter is killed, Mechagodzilla fully awakens and detonates from Victoria Peak's base to attack the city. Godzilla and Mechagodzilla engage in combat, with Godzilla swiftly losing the advantage because of his weariness from his earlier conflict with Kong. Jiu revives Kong and persuades him that Godzilla is not a foe. Godzilla uses his atomic breath to supercharge Kong's axe, enabling Kong to decapitate and obliterate Mechagodzilla. Godzilla and Kong exchange pleasantries before parting ways as Madison, Bernie, and Josh meet up with Madison's father Mark. Later, from a watchtower, Eileen and Josie Kong, who is now in charge of the Hollow Earth. Thanks for watching this awesome recap. Subscribe for regular movie updates.